In lab five card array, you need to have two Java files in your uh, package, which will be lab five card array. Uh, sample output does not need to be inside here. I just put it in here uh, just for convenience so I can open it up easily, but you need to have card and lab five card array both in the same package, which should be lab five card array, all lowercase. Make sure to put your name on it. Okay, this code has some errors. We're gonna need to, we need to write some methods, some of which are gonna go into lab five card array, and some of which are gonna go into card.java. And I am gonna show you how to determine which methods go where. Now NetBeans can automatically generate these methods and it will generate them in the right place, but I wanna show you how we can determine where they should go. So the first error you should see, uh, we know what card is. However, the problem with this, if I split it into two lines, it's fine to declare a variable of type card, but what you can't do is make a new card without any parameters. So here we have a constructor that takes no arguments and the constructor that you wrote in the videos takes a an rank and a suit. It takes two integers. We don't have a constructor that takes no arguments. So first of all, what is this constructor supposed to do? Well, it needs to make a new card that's gonna be random. And it's gonna go ahead and be run 10 times and it's gonna print out the card and the value. All right, so let's go and check out how to make a constructor with no arguments. So it's a constructor for the card class, therefore it has to go inside the card class itself. The reason that this method is 15 lines is because I have some if statements to make sure rank and suit are in are not negative and also they don't get too big. So suits can't get very big at all. Can't go past, well, remember zero, one, two, three. So it can't be bigger than three. And ranks is similar, can't, well, rank actually can't do one. So in the videos, in the textbook, they put null here. I like to put error, so it's more obvious when I print it out that something is wrong. You should not have a rank zero card. Uh, ace is rank one, that's the lowest card. Uh, I did a few other things. I'll go back and talk about these later. So I want to write a constructor that takes no arguments. So it needs to be public, named after the class, no arguments, so nothing in the parentheses. Here we go. So what are we supposed to do in the constructor? Well, we're supposed to not set necessarily the static fields, but the non-static fields rank and suit. Oops, rank equals one and suit equals one. All right, this is not random. They're all gonna be one and one. Uh, however, at least we'll fix the error. So now this line of code is okay. For now, I'm gonna comment out the other lines that are causing errors. I do this very carefully. Let's see, I'll go right here. All right, so I commented all this out. Make sure that this closing curly brace needs to match the one on public static void main. So again, I commented out the second to last curly brace, but not the last one, because the last one finishes the method. All right, we should be able to run this and we'll get some output. Okay, making 10 random cards. Uh, I have ace of diamonds, ace of diamonds, ace of diamonds, and all the values are zero. So we got a few problems here. We're gonna fix some of these problems. First of all, in the textbook, the print statement, the two strings uh, method, 
produced a lot of output and it said ace of diamonds. That was too much output for me. So I shortened that up quite a bit and I'll show you what I did there. Here's the two string. So I just did ranks plus suits and I changed suits significantly and I changed ranks a little bit too. So let's go and check out the ranks and the suits that I changed. So here's ranks. All I did with ranks is I went ahead and instead of null, we have error. And instead of 10, I did a T for 10. And I think that's all I changed on there. Now with the suits, I made big changes. Instead of spelling them out, I just used the single letter right here. Clubs, C, D, diamonds, H, hearts, S, spades. And I made another I basically just duplicated suits and then made one. This is the full name of the suit. So this should match a uh, chapter 12 video. All right, so that should get you here, except the value is always zero. We know the value shouldn't always be zero. In fact, the value should never be zero because the cards, the minimum value should be one. So this get value should not be returning zero. It's really similar to get rank, except we're going to be building a blackjack game and what that means is the ranks 10, 11, 12, and 13. Remember 11, 12, and 13 are the face cards. They should all be returning uh, 10. And it says right here in the comments, they should be returning 10, not uh, 11, 12, and 13. So you're gonna need an if statement in the get value to return the correct value. Uh, for now, I'll just do this.rank. Okay, so next up we'll look at how to actually generate these randomly. They should be random cards, not all Ace of Diamonds here. 